What do you mean you're spending $100 on shorts? You're so stupid. It's literally like walking on clouds. Yeah. I think it's great to see stuff in your house that you're like, damn, that makes me happy. Like my water kettle. I love it. Oh my God. There's the zipper. Oh. There are so many purchases under $300 and even ones under 50 bucks that have changed my life. In today's video, I'm gonna show you from a toothbrush to shorts to a bike lock frisbee and more. That'll be awesome purchases for you to consider for yourself or even as gifts for friends. Let's dive in. We are coming up on a fellow water kettle. This is awesome. It, honestly, I love it because it kind of looks like a piece of art. It is a fellow water kettle. It runs about 149. I just think it looks so nice. It's really, really simple. You come in, you put water in here, close it. Uh, hit this button. This thing will go to whatever temperature you kind of set it to. And then you can hold it in the back. You can have, a, there's a hold button right here. And it'll just hold the temperature as long as you want. Normally I actually put it away, but I think it's just so pretty. And so it, I just like seeing it out. And it, I use it for tea about once a week. Um, I also, I'll just show you because I couldn't help myself. This is the, I bought the white version because I just liked it so much. I couldn't control myself. And then I also bought another handle for it. <laughs> Um, this is a handle if I wanted a darker color. I just think this fellow water cooler thing is the coolest. So check it out, 150. Uh, also a great gift. This is something I'm gonna start gifting to people just in general. All right, next up, we're gonna be talking, Jeremy, our producer, he's gonna be able to say this word a lot better than I am. It's the Lagazoyes, Laga, Laga something, something, knives, Lagoises. It's actually pronounced Lagiol. Lagiol. These, my buddy Anton actually got them for me and I think they are just gorgeous. So check it out, Lagaloyoy. Lagiol. I just love the color. I like having pop in the house. I like that it's just like really high quality as you feel the knife. I don't know, I've never, have you ever liked steak knives? It's like, I didn't grow up being like, one day I'm gonna love a steak knife. But I do, I love it. Uh, I think they run around $25, so super cheap, another great gift. Uh, but I use these on the regular. It's just cool to have like really cool knives in your house. Plus, as you see some stuff, I think it's great to see stuff in your house that you're like, damn, that makes me happy. Like my water kettle. I love I need to name it. What should we name it? Hubert? I'm gonna name it Hubert. Oh, next up uh, is grill mats. This is kind of a newer purchase that I've gotten really into. There's, I have a grill in the backyard, but they have these grill mats now. So let's go check it out in the grill. But the lady who sold me the house, her and her husband were like, you gotta use grill mats. And I was like, yo, I've never heard of a grill mat. What is this? And a grill mat, basically when you grill, it, you know, a bunch of junk gets on your grill. There's all this stuff that kind of falls through. So you can already see there's some stuff in there, but the grill mat is pretty cool. You just leave it on here, uh, do all your grilling here. Uh, and the nice thing is literally, I just throw it in the dishwasher. And what I've noticed weirdly is that uh, with meat, like if you use a ribeye and you cook it, like the fat and all the juices stay on it. Uh, so I've been a huge fan of these. And this is honestly, it's like 25 bucks. I was kind of surprised how cheap it is. Sometimes I do notice that it messes up a little bit. Uh, with the chicken, like the chicken sticks to it or sometimes the vegetables, but for the most part, huge fan of the grill mats, 25 bucks. I don't know, I just love that purchase. Just, I use it, I don't know, probably at least twice a week, if not more. And then when people are over, I'm like, yo, it's grill time, baby. <laughs> it's grill time. Next up is pens and note cards. This might be a controversial topic, but you can see, I just gotta show you my drawer. I have a lot of Pilot uh, G2.38 pens. I love this pen and I love three by five note cards. So I have a lot of them and every day, let me just go show you what I'm doing over here. There is a list of the things that I do each day. So let's take a look at today's list. Make a video for you guys. Done, massage, done. Leads meeting coming up. Malcolm coming up, True coming up. So it's been pretty fascinating just to have like an awesome pen. I don't care what pen you use, except this is the best one you can use. It's super clean, doesn't smudge. I think it looks great. I like doing blue because it gives a little bit more of a pop. These are like 10 bucks, so I, have, I try to just always have packs of them. And I always do my note cards the night before or the first thing in the morning. This kind of makes it really clear like what's important to go on today. Uh, but it's just kind of cool. Three by five note cards, super cheap way to productivity. I know everyone's like, what app or software are you using, bro? I'm like, it's called pen and paper. I love all these items, they're so cool. And it's just, it doesn't have to be expensive. I know the video is like 300 bucks, but a lot of these things are, are really affordable. Flowers, so these are $5, let me just show it to them. They're a little old, we're actually gonna get new ones today. But these flowers are from Trader Joe's. I think it's $5, so cheap. Someone said to me years ago, and it's kind of really stuck with me, which is how much it just adds life to your house. And so it's a really cheap way just to make your house like feel a little more alive, also add a little bit of color. I love the pop uh, that it brings. Honestly, you throw some flower food in here, these things are lasting, no joke, like, I don't know, like two, three weeks. Yeah, so anyways, just get flowers, it's so cheap. Also, it's a nice thing if, you have, if you're dating, you bring some flowers home, people are like, yo, I love this guy, he's so nice. So I have a lot of Capri Blue candles in the house, this is one of them. 
They're pretty blue. Let's go actually see how many candles are really in this house. Candle, candle there, candle there. I think candles in general are just like great, just great. At night you just feel, I don't know, you feel good. <laughs> Do you ever have a candle and just like not feel good about yourself? So it's been, it's been fun. I think it's like $30 and go play around with it. I know there's like homebound candles and some of these other things. I just really like them. So I have them on. I almost always have a candle lit uh, later at night. Uh, and there's a bunch of smells. I always like oatmeal cookie. What kind of smell of candle? Uh, do you like if you like videos like this make sure to subscribe to the channel to get more videos if you want more videos from uncle noah to help you on your business journey plus find out cool purchases make sure to subscribe to the channel down below uh, so this is a brand called or not so you can either like them or not the shorts are awesome i'm not wearing these right now because they're wet i was soaked in the rain last night but i'm pretty particular about my shorts i don't actually have a lot of clothes let me just give you a quick tour of the closet i only have two three pairs of shorts and so the reason i love these shorts is that they're stretchy so it's good for bicycle riding. It's actually made for cyclists. Uh, and it just feels damn good. And I can really wear them pretty much all the time, anytime. I think these run about $100, which I'd say 20 year old would be like, slap. What do you mean you're spending $100 on shorts? You're so stupid. But I literally wear these almost every day. So even if you just wear them a whole month, that's $3 a day. And so it, are these shorts worth it? Only thing I kind of wish these shorts would have, uh, they don't have like a phone pocket. I know a lot of brands now are like having pockets you can like put your phones in. So still really awesome purchase. I think it's about $108 at ornutbike.com. Next up uh, is Suave Shoes. So these run for about $95. These are the Zilkers. I have two pairs of these. I also have their sandals. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Suave's. It's suaves.com. What's cool about them is you can change the sole. So I do that a lot. So you don't have to replace your entire shoe. Uh, plus they're super flexible. So nice. So I really like them. I only pretty much have those two pairs of shoes and that's pretty much what I wear for any traveling, for around Austin, for biking. Really, really big fan of those. And it's about a hundred bucks for those shoes. And I think they're sandals. Suave so also just came out with sandals. Uh, these sandals are legit. It's literally like walking on clouds. I wish you could be here right now feeling these shoes. Anywho, these shoes are phenomenal. Really big fan of the Suave sandals. All right, I'm gonna show t-shirts. So what I wanna show you, this is my t-shirt collection. One of the things I've been really focusing on with t-shirts, sounds so strange, I've never been into fashion uh, until more recently, especially I guess making YouTube videos, I try to look better for y'all. I live in Texas, so it's hot. So I really wanna make sure the shirts can do well, which is more polyester, like this is cotton. Uh, but I've been really excited about a Club Ride apparel brand. So if you could feel it, can you feel it? Oh. Anyway, the Club Ride Apparel Plan, I think they actually look really good. It's awesome in the heat because it's polyester, so the it doesn't stick as much as cotton. It's got these nice like underarm pit things for ventilation. I personally like snappies. I don't know what y'all call them. What do you what do you call them? Snappies for me though. It means you don't have to like unbutton like And I find like even this like cotton shirt, it does get kind of warm and thick during the summer. And this is another example of a club ride shirt. It's called an AK party shirt. So if you're a mountain biker or you're an outdoors person. I highly recommend it. It just feels good. It looks good. They also have a built-in zipper. So when you're riding, you don't have to carry everything. There's the zipper. So really cool. I like these shirts a lot. I just got into this last one. It's about a $68 as well. So around the same price range. And look for those coupons, by the way. So this is Mizzen in Maine. Shout out Eamon. He's the one who told me about it. Uh, but it feels awesome. I love that it has like kind of this uh, little imprint right here. You know, nice pockets. It's, they have a trim cut, which I think is good. One thing I think about the, the fashion and things like that is not having a lot of it, but having stuff when you wear it, people are like, yo, that looks great. As well as for yourself, more importantly, you're like, hey, you're beautiful today. I love you. I wanna show you one other fashion kind of hack. It's a $10 one. Uh, my buddy Andrew Chen actually got me into this. It's these glasses. So these glasses right here are $10. I actually lost a pair this weekend uh, and I think it's awesome. You can get them on Amazon and I've tried other colors, but honestly, this just looks clean. A lot of people are like, I don't like expensive glasses cause I'm gonna ruin them or I'm gonna lose them or something like that. And with these, toss them out, who cares? Uh, cause they're actually really cheap. I've had nicer glasses and I have some other ones. That's pretty much all I wear. AirPods Pro, this is kind of cheating, uh, but I just gotta give a shout out. They're 249. I actually just got them from a good friend of mine. And it's like, did I really need another pair? I also have like the Bose big headphones and I've tried other ones over the years, but these are just awesome. They work so, so well. Uh, the noise canceling is great. The battery life is really great. I don't know if we realize how amazing this technology is. Like literally it's charging in itself. Charging in itself. Uh, and it lasts a super long time. Yes, you've probably already heard of them, but maybe it's something to start upgrading some of your gear. I think that's one of these things you're gonna get and you're like, man, how long am I really gonna be enjoying this product for? Uh, definitely recommend that. All right, uh, non-alcoholic drinks. So I don't have my high Shirley wine because I've drank it all, but I did want to highlight some of the non-alcoholic stuff I've been really getting into. So Brewdog is a super popular one I really like. Not the grapefruit flavor as much, but again, these are like two bucks. So I actually think it's kind of pricey. 
Um, Run Wild as well. It's from Athletic Brewing. Really, really good one. Uh, this Pen's Best is super cheap. It's $3 for a six pack. I don't know how they do it, but I'm a huge fan of that. Oh, we just got these. I love these. I have it almost every night for dessert. It's not high calories. There's no alcohol. You feel like you're drinking, but you're not getting any of the downsides. Just all the upside. And so I've been a really big proponent of that. Lastly, I would say like the two other kind of non-alcoholic drinks really going into Klosthaler is a German one. Thumbs up. Olipop is a new one. Olipop and Zevia, I'm a huge fan of. So my buddy Derek actually invented Olipop with some friends. So and they're super, super good. And then Bai is awesome. Dude, I can't tell you how great these are. All right, we're going deep into the pantry. So I wanted to show you Golden Ratio Coffee. Uh, I think it's drinkgoldenratio.com. It's about 10 bucks. I actually invested in these guys. And so, let me just smell it for you. It smells awesome. So it's coffee, but golden. Oh my God, it smells so good. Uh, so yeah, that's golden ratio, drink golden ratio. Highly recommend, it's like 10 bucks for a few pouches. My buddy Clark started it, I've invested. I, I do like it and I do drink it often. What I do is I'll, I'll steep it overnight. So I'll get a cup, leave it in in the morning, kick it back. Uh, and last thing I wanna shout out, at least from food purchases. These are these are actually expensive as well, but I did invest in them and I do use one almost every single day. It's called Element T. So it's drink Element T. It's kind of, it's electrolytes. So think of it as Gary without sugar. I think also I like it psychologically. Like if I've had a hard workout or I'm like, yo, you were gonna work hard today. And like, this is a way of kind of getting your day going and feeling good about like, oh, I'm, I'm physically fit and this is gonna fix my body up. My favorite flavors, I like the citrus salt, watermelon flavor. Honestly, they all kind of taste similar. So I don't think sweat, I would sweat uh, which ones you actually have. Uh, all right, so this is a Benchmade knife. This is actually 250. It's pretty much just made for cutting Amazon boxes. Anyways, Benchmade, uh, super nice knife, super sharp, opens quick. I think it's around 250. It's, what do you think? Pretty nice, right? Do you think it's worth 250? No, it's, it's worth like what? Like 60 maybe? Maybe 70 on a good day. So I think that's the real talk about it. It is a cool knife, it is nice. I use it pretty much every single day. All right, we're gonna go through a few more things. Yes, there's just a lot of these different purchases. Is it organized? No, but you're, it's kind of a fun way of seeing it. This is a new one I just got. So this is a bike lock. What's interesting is if you lock it, uh, you don't have to have like a fancy lock. Like I have had other locks like the Kryptonite and all these other big ass locks. But what's cool about this one uh, is that if someone touches it, the alarm is off. So now the alarm is on. I'm gonna move it a bit and you'll see that the alarm, oh fuck, it's gonna go off. Okay, turned it off. But now the nice thing about it is that I don't have to carry a super big lock. Uh, it's around $15 on Amazon. So it's pretty cheap, but it's also nicer if you wanna travel. My buddy Andy from Huckberry uh, is actually the one who got me into that. So I really, really like that. The other thing I wanna show you is an aerobi Frisbee. So Nick Gray is the one that actually got me into this. This one actually has light. I have one with and without light. Ooh, $10, so much fun. If you're not Frisbeeing, you're not having a great day. And so I really love this one. I have one in the backyard and one in the front yard. It's something also kind of just like carry in your car. So as you guys are doing things, it's like, hey, what do you want to do? Let's just throw some Frisbee. I think it's like 15 bucks. Uh, really cool thing to just to have around, kind of entertain yourselves and have fun with it. So I do want to highlight two things while we're in the bathroom that I use pretty much all the time. Philips Morocco, I think it's around 30 to $40. Coolest thing about it, it is waterproof. Yeah. So I am bald. Jesus, sometimes I want hair to just appear uh, when I take off my hat, but I'll do a lot of my head shaving in my bathroom. And so instead of going to the barber, I can just be able to do this from the bathroom. Just two other things I highly like in the bathroom, Philips Sonicare toothbrush. What's actually fascinating is like when I use a regular toothbrush, I really can tell how much dirtier my teeth are. I think this runs around $100 for the Sonicare and it's just phenomenal, a uh, huge fan of it. I wanna show you one other bonus thing that I use for traveling. So this is another Philips Sonicare. Can you hear the vibrate? So it's always, it's awesome to have this toothbrush because like, unless you're traveling, but the point being is that you don't need to carry on the bulky ass one because this honestly, it's kind of, it's kind of too thick sometimes. So I just bring it around when I'm just trying to brush my teeth. It's just too big sometimes when you travel uh, with smaller amounts of stuff. Uh, I did also want to show my sleep tracker. You guys have probably heard of the Oura Ring. A lot of people wear them all day. I just wear it at night. So I'll put it on my finger like that. I think it runs around $250. And it's just, what I use it for specifically is I wanna see how well I slept. So last night, I didn't sleep great. I went to, I, lost, I like seeing what time I fell asleep. So I fell asleep at 12.50, woke up around eight because I went and played squash with my buddy Joe. And it has your readiness, so I don't include all my data from like activities, but some of the times it does. And it'll kind of tell you like, hey, you should probably take it easy today. And I also think what's been interesting about the Aura Ring is it helps set intentionality. Like I know if I'm wearing it at night, it's like, oh, you should probably go to sleep a little earlier, or hey, let's not be drinking or whatever that is. So you can have a good night's sleep, which honestly having a great night's sleep every day that I'm like, 
wake up and I slept really well, I'm like, dude, today's gonna be awesome. I don't know if you feel that way. Uh, it doesn't have to be as expensive as an Oura Ring. I know that there's other things out there that can do similar. I think there's like a Wii mat on Amazon. I think there's also the Whoop Band that's really popular. I don't like the fact that it has a subscription, uh, but a big fan of the Oura Ring. I think that's it. So if you like this video about my favorite purchases under $300, make sure you leave a comment and tell me some of your favorite purchases. Check out this video right up here. I'm pretty sure you're gonna love it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that. I love you and I'll see you out there. Pew, pew.